Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube Safe uh, channel where today we're gonna teach you how to play a mini harmonica. For 30 seconds, we're almost there. The key to the mini harmonica is it actually has four notes that you can hit. That's probably 30 seconds or so. 30 seconds Anyway, guys, off. welcome back to the safest YouTube channel in the world. Today, we're talking about the uh, the Psy from Reap Weaponries. And uh, I know what you're thinking. That was a that was a big bang. That was a lot of stuff, a big bang theory even. And uh, yeah, it's a 458 SOCOM. That's what we went with, 458 SOCOM. And you guys know that we have experience with putting big calibers in small ARs. So this is our 10 and a half inch SBR 50 cal. And now we have a full 16 inch uh, not SBR, uh, Reap Weaponry Psy, and uh, yeah, the real the real point of this is to test this guy, this little piece of whole plastic kit. here, this whole little kit, you wanna hold that, this whole little kit here, we're gonna test and uh, kind of check its durability, ensure that it is in fact um, going to hold up to whatever you put on it, and so we put a caliber in it that is uh, probably not what the you guys are going to run. The least practical one. The you least practical want. one that's going to put the most amount of wear on it the quickest. So we can really kind of test the durability of this kit. But what it does is take your standard AR-15 lower and turns it into a bullpup configuration, which is really neat. So uh, yeah, let's uh, let's get into it. Yeah, that'll uh, that doesn't work anymore. That's a shame that this uh, UH-1 doesn't work from Vortex. Uh, anyway, today, this is a general overview of the Reap Weaponry's Psy, that's S-C-Y, and you now see the, the weapon is clear. So this is a very simple system that you put on your AR. I can't show you the assembly because YouTube hates me, um, but your AR lower goes here and then this thing clamps on to where the trigger area thing is. You put a little ambi mag release on it so you can get it with your off hand. Um, and then you put whatever foregrip you want on it up here and it relocates the whole thing all the way to the front. The weird little quirk about this, one of them is that you have two safeties now. You have a safety here and a safety here. So fun prank when you hand it to people is you can turn this safety on and then hand it to them and uh, they still won't be able to fire. It's a little goofy. Um, aside from that, it doesn't seem to add any trigger weight to it. It's not a bad trigger system. The linkage is not, like, it's not rough. I don't think this works anymore, Joe. Yeah, I can't believe it. Uh, Vortex Optics cannot take a, uh, 458 SOCOM shot straight on. So, kind of weak, kind of pathetic. Um, but yeah, this, the point of today's video is to kind of just test this, see how much we like it. So far, I have no, like, real complaints about it after shooting it a little bit. Um, it doesn't work with every upper receiver or lower receiver. And I think this is probably best designed for like an FM15 upper, which is a bufferless design. Um, but since I wanted to put 458 SOCOM on it and put a bunch of wear on it, um, instead we put a 458 SOCOM on it. And uh, that's why it has this really long receiver tube. Um, but if you do like a, a bufferless upper receiver, you can end it right here. They make something called, uh, mm, oh, mm. I'm gonna put the name right here. They make a thing called, it's it's a uh, Reaper oriented. It's not the Psy, um, but yeah, it's something something here. It's a little tail hook and uh, it, it just replaces the stock. So you lose about three inches off this extremely long length of pull. Three inches is a lot, that would really help. It's a huge amount. So um, it makes it a little more wieldy. And uh, then again, it also is, since I said more designed for bufferless uppers, they fit a little bit better. Uh, this. Handguard is from Arrow, and obviously this is like a MacGyver build, so I did have to modify the handguard a little bit to get it to fit. Um, and Gunsmith. Gunsmith did. It did. It does fit, and it's, so far it's been running great. So we're just gonna put it through its paces, see how durable it is, and again, like give our thoughts on a five hundred dollar bullpup conversion for your for your AR. We're 
to do Mozambique, two to the chest, one to the head. We're going to make sure that both safeties are set to fire here. All right. Shooter ready. I'm ready. Stand by. Huh. Flinch. Hell. That sounded like it wasn't fun. It wasn't. Total time, 277. First shot in a 122. I flinched really hard on that one. Yeah. Um, but yeah, close let's enough. Note the splits here. So let's go back to shot one. First shot, 122, 0 0.77, 0 0.78. So, you know, not the fastest shooting gun and uh, understandably so because that, that recoils about twice as hard as a 12 gauge shotgun. I could have shot faster, but I didn't want to. All right, my turn. Uh, we'll just remember Thomas's hits and we'll see if I can beat like two and a half seconds. But I'm not looking forward to this, to be completely honest. All right, shooter ready. Sure. Stand by. Got 210. 210, all right. Hit my part time. Split time of 0.59. Um, yeah, two alpha, not bad. With this, like, height over bore, I should be used to it because I've had a unity on my gun. I put my dot, like, up here and it still hit down there. Height over bore so, doesn't exist. It's not real. It's not yeah. real. It's just a myth. It's a myth. Don't, anyway, don't believe it. I'll accept that because the area where the neck would have been would have been evacuated by the almost 46 caliber bullet entering that space at the same time. Um, so the, the head area would actually be on the ground somewhere, is my guess. Neck gone. Yeah. Anyway, Joe's turn. There's some wild heathens shooting in the background, mag dumping, so we're gonna pretend to do the ad read again. Um, gun butter, it's my turn. I'm pretending to put this in. I already lubed it up with a ton of this stuff. This is great stuff. Uh, gun butter, he sent us a, a bunch of this for free, so I'm giving him a free shout out. Don't have to do that, but also you guys should support him because he's awesome. We met him at TriggerCon, super nice guy, Pretty and uh, yeah, we look forward to working with him in the future. But if you want to support us financially, guys, committee coffee. That's Pop 420 gives you 10% off. We get that 10% put in our pocket. It really helps the channel grow. Like, leave a comment, share this video. Seriously, YouTube does not push us out. You are the sole responsibility for the growth of this channel. So, um, and a big shout out to Reap Weaponries. They sent us this. We do, I think, have to send it back, maybe. Hopefully not, um, but it'd be kind of cool. But he, he, he sent it to us for testing and basically said, no training wheels, uh, do whatever the heck you want to do to it. So uh, we're going to do that today. And uh, I'm going to run my drill now. Enough of the ad read stuff that we have to do. I hate having to do that, but. Um, it is what it is. It's, it's you got to get is. that. We gotta get that shmoney. Well, we just gotta be able to do this for a living. You guys ready? Yeah. Shooter is ready. Stand by. We got uh Alpha Charlie Mike. Alpha, yeah, Alpha Charlie Mike. Mike. Yep. Uh time was 1.09, so he shot the fastest, but I shot over one. their head, so yeah, a split time of 0.36. Yeah, I tried to go too fast, as you do. Man, 458 SOCOM is an absolute heater of a round. It's a lot like the 50 Beowulf, where it'll stop pretty much anything. This would probably stop a bear. That smells really good, like lime and lime. It's really minty. Um, the real question that we had when we were kind of putting this kit together is it's a $500 kit, right? It's 500 bucks, you put a piece of plastic on your AR, and um, you're supposed to trust it as like an effective system. And while you get a 16 inch barrel with a really nice compact package, you don't lose a lot of the rail space, which is super nice. Um, I did have to buy a rail cover for this, and I think they're working on a solution for that, but I bought just like a rubberized rail cover to put my face here. It'd be really nice to see like a larger one that's still kind of a little bit padded for uh, for future use. And um, it's nice because you get the full Picatinny rail all the way across the top. If you use something that's bufferless or whatever, um, like most of the uppers that are probably more thought of for this, you do get, um, if it's bufferless, a monolithic upper, generally speaking. So you can actually use this whole rail space and a big loss with bull pups is rail space. So it's nice, the M-Lock comes all the way back to here. So you do have tons of rail space to, to try it out. But my real question, obviously it's $500 for a piece of plastic. So how durable is it? Cause if I'm gonna be like, you know, running around with this and I fall or, um, you know, go on the ground a little bit, like how durable is this going to be? And um, 
it's not gonna break. To be honest, that just, that did, that did fine. So, um, wow, um, <laughs> I'm actually impressed. Uh, yeah, no, it's totally fine, uh, not even cracked. The Die Frico grip is also fine. This is soon to be ordered on our website, by the way. If you guys like this grip, let us know. Um, we will be carrying these on deskpop.shop. Die Frico grips are super comfortable, very vertical, especially for a bullpup conversion like this. It's a very comfy design. Um, yeah, this didn't didn't break from drops or spills, so um, I'm... We gonna shoot it some more? I guess we'll just shoot it some more. I'm, I'm surprised that that didn't break it. I definitely thought that if it was if it was gonna crack that would do it so um yeah let's uh let's go shoot it some more dude it's a double feed whoa oh just a failure to extract oh my god my extractor broke did it yeah well closing thoughts closing thoughts Closing thoughts. Yeah, closing thoughts on the uh, the sigh. I am very surprised. It works very well. That it didn't yeah. break. Yeah. It would be fun if it wasn't a, such a caliber that hammers you. Yeah, it, uh, we're probably gonna do this if I don't send it back to him. And by don't send it back to him, I mean, if he watches this and tells me I can keep it, uh, we'll probably put the Jackal upper on this and try that'd it out fun. a little bit more. Oh, that'd be cool. Um, I think FM15 upper receiver would be really nice on this. It's like a $600 bufferless AR upper. Yeah. Um, so our you know, testing was cut short because our extractor snapped off. Thank you, Bear Creek. I didn't bring um, a spare extractor, so. so it's 458. It's hard on the gun. Um, it also like is Bear Creek because uh, in terms of 458 SOCOM, first of all, we live in a banned state, so it's hard for us to get parts to begin with. Second of all, I uh, just have what I have access to, which was a Bear Creek 458 SOCOM bolt. So um, yeah, it's cut a little short today. That's all um, we really have for you guys. So um, the kit works. It's $500 for yeah. the, the bullpup kit. If you think of it this way, $500 for the bull cup, bullpup kit, $500 for an FM15 upper. You're in at a thousand bucks for a bullpup. You could buy a Caltech RDB, but this is metal. Um, or for the hog, most part. if you're a specific flavor of interesting. There's a couple intricacies because it is an AR pattern adapted to be a bullpup. So you've got the double safe safety. Yep. Um, this one in the rear you can just leave on fire and then this one controls the safety. Mm -hmm. so that way you have a more uh, ergonomic. Ergonomic, thank you, was what I'm looking for. Um, you got to have the Andy mag release on there. Um, but it actually is not that bad if you're trying to do, use the mag release there. Yeah. Um, and they sell with the kit when you order it, the option to buy the ambi mag release. So you don't have to like go somewhere else to find it. You yeah. just buy it with the kit. Okay. So anyway. yeah, the, Anyways. The, the kit itself has some, some weird intricacies. One of the advantages of this kit, I say advantage, like advantage question mark. Um, you can use AR drop-in triggers with this. So if you want to put like a rise arm at one, uh, or sorry, three and a half pound trigger on it, you can do that. The linkage doesn't add any noticeable weight or very much. Um, and then, yeah, like we said, the length of pull is obviously big, but you can get the, you can get like a bufferless and then just delete the length of pull. They have a piece for that as well. Um, overall, I like it. I yes. think it's fun. It I works. think it's different. I like that I use AR parts for the bullpup. Um, I like that for repair sake, like this that is now broken. I can just put a new upper on it. Uh, and I can also, I have extractors at home. I have a bunch of extractors at home. So I can just swap out the extractor. Um, it's it's pretty straightforward. I think that that is, that is kind of nice. The fact that it uses AR parts is nice. The fact that you get all of your rail estate here. Um, rail, estate. rail estate is nice. It's and then, free. yeah, uh, overall for 500 bucks, it's a good kit. Is it for you? Uh, bull pups are kind of hit or miss. I'm not a huge bullpup guy myself, personally. Mm. So maybe not for me. I do like it in this configuration. I think if I was hunting with a 458 SOCOM, this would be a lot easier to kind of carry around um, nope. than, than the alternative. Just probably so, use better ammo. Yeah, probably use, well... Not free re hand-reloaded uh, hollow points that like to malfunction. Yeah, shout out to the dead guy for giving us all the ammo for this video. Super cool, that Sorry guy. that we are stomping on your grave by being ungrateful for the ammunition. So, RIP random guy, but uh, Anyways. that's that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks so much for watching, and don't forget that your Vortex uh, UH-1 Razor actually cannot take a direct gunshot Definitely from a 458 from SOCOM. So, thanks so much for watching, and as always, guys, we'll catch you on the flip.